for this video, we're gonna be integrating exponential functions. We have the antiderivative of e raised to x dx. And the antiderivative of this is itself plus c. Let's have example. Number 1. What is the antiderivative of e raised to 5x dx? So the antiderivative is itself divided by the derivative of the exponent. We have e raised to 5x, this is our given, divided by 5, which is the derivative of the exponent, plus c. And this is the antiderivative of our given. We can also solve this using substitution. So let's say here is our given. So by substitution, magkakaroon lang tayo ng u value, du, and dx. Let u is equal to 5x, which is the exponent of our e. For du, we're going to find the derivative of 5x, then we put dx. So du is equal to 5, which is the derivative of 5x, dx. Then after this, hahanapin naman natin ang value ng dx. And for us to be able to find the value of dx, we need to divide both sides by 5 to cancel out 5 beside dx. So we have dx is equal to du over 5 or 1 fifth du. So after having these three values, is a substitute natin ito sa ating equation. We have antiderivative of e raised to u, yung u, that is 5x, pinalitan na natin ito ng u, times dx. The value of dx is 1 fifth du. Then ilalabas lang natin ng 1 fifth dito sa ating integration symbol. We have 1 fifth times the antiderivative of e raised to u. Then, the antiderivative of e raised to u is itself. That's why we have 1 fifth times e raised to u plus c. Then after this, kung wala na tayong pwedeng simplify, ibabalik na natin ang value ng ating u which is 5x. So we have e raised to 5x, so multiply natin ito sa 1, that is e raised to u, and u is equal to 5x. So ito yung numerator natin, and in our denominator we have 5. Then don't forget plus c. So this is the final answer. So we have the same answer. Ito yung direct, kinuha agad natin yung antiderivative. Ito using the u-substitution. So we're gonna be using the u-substitution in the next examples. Let's have our example number 2. Find the antiderivative of x raised to 4, e raised to x to the 5th power dx. So we're going to have the value of u. Ang u natin is still the exponent of our e. So let u is equal to x raised to 5. Then for our du, find the derivative of x raised to 5, which is 5x to the 4th power. Then we put dx. So du is equal to 5x to the 4th power dx. Then find the value of dx. And in order to find the value of dx, we're going to divide both sides by 5x to the 4th power. So, makakancel yung 5x to the 4th power dito. Nandito na siya sa ilalim ng du. So, dx is equal to du over 5x to the 4th power or 1 over 5x to the 4th power du. So, iisa lang naman silang dalawa. So, dahil nakuha na natin itong tatlo, we're going to substitute this dun sa ating equation. We have the antiderivative of x raised to 4. Ito yun. Then, dun sa e natin, we have e raised to u. So, papalitan natin ng x raised to 5 ng u. Then, for our dx, the value is 1 over 5x to the 4th power du. So, ito yung substitution natin. Now, from here, pwede nating makancel ang x raised to 4. Dito, 
tsaka dito. So, ano na lang ang remaining parts natin? Erase to U or the antiderivative of Erase to U times one-fifth DU. Wherein, pwede natin ilabas ang one-fifth dito sa integration symbol. We have one-fifth times the antiderivative of e raised to u du, where the antiderivative of e raised to u is itself. That's why we have one-fifth times e raised to u plus c. Then, ibalik na natin ang value ng u, which is x raised to 5. Then, multiply natin yun sa 1, yung e raised to u, so we have e raised to x to the 5th power over 5 plus c. And this is our final answer. For our third example, we're going to find the antiderivative of e raised to x times the square root of the quantity 5 minus e raised to x dx. So the first thing that we need to do is to convert this into exponential. So ano ang i-convert natin? Itong part na ito, yung nasa loob ng square root natin. So yung e raised to x as is yan. So the antiderivative of e raised to x times the quantity 5 minus e raised to x raised to 1 half. So ito yung square root natin. Then dx. Then after this, pwede na tayo maglet ng values. Let u, ito, is equal to 5 minus e raised to x. Then for our du, hanapin natin ang derivative nito. The derivative of 5 is 0. The derivative of e raised to x is itself. So don't forget the negative sign kasi minus ito. So du is equal to negative e raised to x dx. Then isolate natin ang dx. I-divide natin both sides by negative e raised to x. So dx is equal to negative du over e raised to x or negative 1 over e raised to x du. Then i-substitute na natin sa ating equation. We have the antiderivative of e raised to x then ito is magiging u. u raised to 1 half. For our dx, the value is negative 1 over e raised to x du. And from here, we can cancel e raised to x. Ito, tsaka yung una. And the remaining part is the antiderivative, so don't forget the negative sign, pwede na natin siyang ilabas. So technically, that's negative 1. So hindi na lang natin siya isulat. So we have negative here. Then the antiderivative of u raised to 1 half du. Then hanapin na natin yung antiderivative niya. We have u raised to 1 half plus 1 over 1 half plus 1. And this is negative. Plus c. 1 half plus 1 is equal to 3 halves. So we have u raised to 3 halves over 3 halves. And this is negative plus c. Since we have complex fraction, we're going to find the reciprocal of our denominator, which is 3 halves. Then we're going to multiply the reciprocal to our numerator. The reciprocal of 3 halves is 2 thirds. So yung 2, ito times natin sa numerator natin. So we have negative 2 times u raised to 3 halves over 3 plus c. And since wala na tayong pwedeng simplify or lowest term dito sa part na ito, we can put back the value of our u, which is 5 minus e raised to x. So our final answer is negative 2 times the quantity 5 minus e raised to x raised to 3 halves over 3 plus c. Now let's discuss our example number 4. Find the antiderivative of e raised to 5x plus 5e e raised to 2x plus 7 all over e raised to x dx. So ang pwede natin gawin dito is to distribute the denominator in each term. 
So, magkakaroon tayo ng tatlong terms dito sa given. First, the antiderivative of e raised to 5x over e raised to x plus 5e raised to 2x over e raised to x plus 7 over e raised to x. So, as you can see, pinaghiwalay lang itong tatlong terms sa ating numerator and dinistribute natin ang kanilang denominator doon sa bawat term. So, technically, tulad lang itong dalawa. Then, we can simplify each term. For the first term, since they have the same base, which is e, we can subtract the exponents. So, 5x minus x is equal to 4x. For the second term, so they have the same base, 2x minus x is x. So in the second term, we have 5e raised to x. And for the third term, we can put this sa ating numerator. So magiging negative lang ang kanyang sign. We have plus 7e raised to negative x dx. And from here, we can get the antiderivative. For the first term, we're going to have e raised to 4x. So the antiderivative of e raised to 4x is itself divided by the derivative of the exponent. The derivative of 4x is 4. That's why we have 4 in the denominator. For the second term, the antiderivative of 5e raised to x is itself. Because the derivative of x is 1, so hindi na natin ilalagay yung 1 sa ating denominator. Next, dito naman, the derivative of negative x is negative 1. So pag dinivide natin ng negative 1 dito sa term na to, mababago lang ang ating sign. We have negative 7e raised to negative x plus c. So dito ang pwede lang nating simplify ay ito. So we cannot have negative exponent in our final answer. So ibababa lang natin yan sa ating denominator to make it positive. So ang final answer natin for the first term, as is, we have e raised to 4x over 4. In the second term, we have 5e raised to x. For the third term, we have minus 7 over e raised to x, then plus c. And this is our final answer. So this is the end of this video. So if you find this informative, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. God bless us all.